So by now you probably have heard enough of me talking and I just want to get into more of um, some positions and ranges of motion uh, to ensure that we have proper uh, movement, specifically at our shoulders. And the reason why this is so important is because one, I've already talked about squats and deadlifts already, which we'll get back to, I'm sure, at some point. But another purpose is because it's so common for us to have shoulder injuries. One main reason is because our shoulder is a bone, a bone, a bone, and a bunch of muscles wrapped together. And then you have your scapula and you have your rib cage. So when we're trying to have shoulder mobility, it's because we're actually trying to put the scapula on our rib cage which then allows the shoulder to articulate properly in all the ranges of motion that it, that it needs to. Otherwise you have what's called, um, you can have what's called a winging scapula and your scapula kind of comes out of position because you're making compensations because you don't actually have uh, the proper stability so that you can get the mobility that you need. So I said I wasn't gonna do too much talking, apparently I lied, but so what you wanna do, first thing, Get on your side, have your knee at a 90 degree angle, hand on top of hand, shoulders on top of shoulders. And the first thing you want to try to do is come up overhead trying to windmill and then get your shoulder blade, elbow, and back your hand on the ground. Move back the same way you went. Again, reaching for that ground with that shoulder blade. Ideally, your fingers and hand stays on the ground the whole time. And if you need something to keep this knee in contact, you can try to make it to the ground. You can have a foam roller here. This is the first step in shoulder mobility so that we can be strong when we do something like press overhead. And usually what happens in this position is we lose the rib cage and we press and we compensate. So that's it for this movement in this lesson. We're gonna get into more body mechanics in this course. And eventually we're gonna be putting together a more in-depth course for you guys.